वेलकम ग्रेट 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 आई कैन सी योर एंथुजियाजम एज यू जम्प फ्रॉम वन वीडियो टू अनदर इन दिस वीडियो यू आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द एलर्जी द नेक्स्ट पॉलिटिकल फॉर्म यू हैव टू लर्न फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स अबाउट एलर्जी द फर्स्ट थिंग इज वॉट इज इट देन वॉट आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट एलर्जीज एंड वॉट इज अ पैस्ट्रल एलर्जी एंड द डर्ज एंड सम एक्स्ट्रा फैक्ट्स सो वी स्टार्ट विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ एन एलर्जी एस यू नो एलर्जी इज अ ट्रिब्यू to someone you loved and lost and elegy originated in greece okay and initially it is meant as a poem written in elegiac measure okay it has nothing to do with death or anything elegiac measure is a couplet written with dactylic hexameter followed by dactylic pentameter hexa 6 foot penta 5 foot dactyl is a food it has got one uh, one long stress and followed by two short stress one long and two short which we will discuss in another part when we deal with prosody okay then in the modern age it is not the elegiac meter but the theme matters so as as we have studied a lot of elegies what is the theme theme is of something mournful or sadly reflective usually the element you usually the lamentation for the dead when somebody dies an elegy is written although death is a central theme of elegy towards the end you can find a kind of reconciliation and death is seen as an entry into the next world okay a kind of a faith in immortality so in that sense elegy is a kind of a religious poem which supports the christian religion and uh, towards the end remember the way it is written is with dignity there is no artificiality when somebody is uh, died it is not written with it's from the heart okay but more than uh, what you might call a person person poem like lyric it is more dignified and what are the important elegies in english literature there is a second point we have to deal with there are four important ones one is milton's lycidas written on the death of edward king and the second one tennyson's uh, in memoriam just forgive me for tennyson's spelling t n n y s o n apostrophe s tennyson's uh, Uh, in memoriam it was written on the death of his friend arthur hallam and third one is matthew arnold's elegy uh, the uh, rugby chapel written on his visit to his father's grave 15, 15 years after he died his father died and wh odens it's in the 20th century in memory of wh published in 1940 these are some of the most commonly asked elegies from english literature and what is a pastoral elegy that's the next thing actually pastoral elegy is a kind of elegy, el elegy which is originated in sicily and made famous by theocritus okay here the poet represent as uh, himself as a shepherd pastoral you know it is connected with shepherd and here he is bewailing the loss of a companion and uh, it is the setting is very important in pastoral elegy it is of the rustic life and important pastoral elegies of english language are uh, are spenser's estrophel when on the death of philip sidney and milton's lycidas shelley's adonis 1821 and arnold's thyrsius on the death of his friend a h clow so here in pastoral elegy the setting is important the poet acts like a shepherd and sings for the lost friend and what is a dirge dirge is something very close to an elegy in the sense that it is also a poem written for expressing grief but here it is short and it is written to be sung in public and we have two examples of dirge first one shakespeare's full fathom five thy father lies and second one william collins a song from shakespeare's cymbeline written in 1743 so that is dirge so dirge is short and uh, it is to be sung in public and what are some extra facts samuel johnson in his life of milton published in 1779 disapproved both pastoralism and mythology in poetry so he could not approve using pastoralism and mythology in poetry and another important elegy is walt whitman's elegy on lincoln uh, death when lilacs last in the dooryard bloomed it's very important walt whitman on the death of abraham lincoln published in 1866 and another thing is that elegy after a kind of a decadence has a strong rebirth in the 20th century and you can find latest example in michael klein's poet for life 
76 poets respond to AIDS in published in 1989. So in short, in this video, you got a got wonderful understanding about allergy, some examples of allergy, what is a pastoral allergy, dirge and all. So before you move on to just chapter, make sure you write down your important takes away, takeaways, four or five important takeaways that you learned. Then you go, if you miss this, repeat this again and again, you will not benefit from this course. So I'll see you in the next video. Okay.